Ever drive back home from work and can't remember what happened while you drove? You sat there and drove for miles, you fiddled with the radio, you even had to change lanes a few times, but you don't really remember what happened. This is called highway hypnosis, which is an altered mental state in which a person can drive a car, respond to external events in the expected safe and correct manner with no recollection of having consciously done so. This is going through the motions and your brain goes on autopilot and there is nothing memorable from it. We have all experienced this, but have you ever thought about this in gaming? What's this? The double doors leading to A on Dust 2. I have gone through these doors countless of times over the last 20 years. Without even going through these doors, I know what will probably happen. There's probably two guys here, a third here, and the last two are probably here and here. Even as a casual FPS player, I go into highway hypnosis playing the same recycled maps over and over again. They put me to sleep and I need something to wake me up. Due Process is a very unique first person shooter that at first glance looks so different from modern games, but it's an indie game and it has a great premise. If this is your first time here, this channel focuses on multiplayer sim gameplay, so if you're into that, please subscribe. The game hit Steam in late 2020 and received much love initially, but because it was an early access, people chewed through it so fast during quarantine. The population has really dropped off for this game, but development has continued, and with the Steam sale coming up and their full release in the pipeline, there is a chance for this game to roar back. This video may sound sponsored, but it's not. I just believe in the game's concept, so I reached out to the team and offered to make a video for free. It turns out, the CEO of the game is actually a fan of the channel, and is also Cold War pilled. How great would it be to help a fan by giving some light to his game? But now that we have set the table, how does it play? This game in short is Counter-Strike or Rainbow Six Siege, but without the same boring old maps. They are procedurally generated, and this has a huge impact. There isn't the same fight over the same corner, the maps change. There is a planning phase before each map, and they have neat features where you can draw to plan with your team. There are no buy rounds. Your team has a set number of equipment, and it is up to you to decide when to use them throughout the round. Do you cut the power or and use your limited MVGs on the first round, or do you go in another way? Up to your team. How do you prepare defenses? Set up your barbed wire in certain spots or hold certain angles? Up to your team's response to the map and how it was generated. This is what makes this game fun. It has a lot of variety, and with how the combat is, it puts a big emphasis on teamwork. You don't have to go through the same motions, you have to approach each situation differently, and the fact that it's lo-fi graphics makes the game visually appealing because it's unique and different. It wakes me up, and it just hits different, and I genuinely enjoy it. This game is going through its problems, but there is a chance for it to come back as they round out the final development before their full release. So wishlist it. I was invited by the devs to play during one of their test sessions for the upcoming patch so we can see how gameplay looks like. If we're gonna we want to take out power, we should push green and then wall charge into office so we can get power. And then we can push out through the window and through the door so we get two ways out of office. That will give us uh, a lot of safety. Um, I think a smoke in server might not be a bad idea just to help us uh, push. Uh, oh, so, so, the sniper rifle? so we'll push in here and then we'll smoke here so they can't shoot across, right? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I'll do the smoke. Mm, okay. If we still have the sniper, the might as well just post up at the fan here. Oh, yeah, I sniper could do a storage we during long anymore. lanes. Oh, I have sniper. I'm going to drop it though. I don't want it. Alright, I got wall. Does anyone Normally doing sniper? like sniper to oh, fan is really predictable. Uh, some, or actually, I'll bring clacker as well as well. And uh, we got extra flash we should take. I'm gonna do one of the funny nades. Uh, one NVG. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, it did not do anything funny. Alright, uh, do we have a torture frag for that wire? 
He's next door. Nice smoke. I got a frag. Stand by. Frag out. Here we go. Smoke. Let's go. Let's go. Below me. Below me. Move. All right, clacking. One down from. Ah, he's one. He's one. He's in storage. I'll just try storage. All right, we did it. Nice. <laughs> that was cool. This easy match there. Does that count as an ace? Yeah. <laughs> So the hard part about this map is once they get into lockers, it's pretty hard for us to rotate around. I might post up at pillbox. We definitely need somebody. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty hard to get lockers. You have like this long angle. You can have someone just playing. Like, did you barb like yeah, back? Defend it. With Ooh, even better. Uh, we kick the red door. Hold the barb. Okay. Well, be forced to like peek this angle, and they can't even flash it. Sounds good to me. Just wait to kick until we confirm that um, they open the green. I got you covered with mom. <laughs> What? Well, that's a counter. <laughs> Damn it! I think my whole bard. You just hold that door. It, it's holding bar. both doors. They use their. Yeah, they. I know. Okay. Thank you, Enigma. More, more, more. Okay. Nice. nice. <laughs> they just. What, that was the craziest <laughs> plan I've ever door seen. charge the green. <laughs> Which you can I, just run through for some reason. Had I had I known that, I would not have thrown that frag grenade thing. So where where's the button for these Holy yellow doors? Holy fuck! This is a throwback okay, green okay, entrance. Okay. What? Oh, okay, it's the vault. Okay, so I'll push main entrance. Like, or oh, I see. We're just all go together. Okay. I have not seen have like a green. I mean, lobby. we might want to like, do a little bit of splitting here because this. Yeah, we're not going to be able to go this way once this is open, unless there's a very small gap there. Yeah, window. So yeah, we got crossfire there, plus maybe a shotgunner hiding in these cubbies. What are they going to do? One flash do here works for both of those, and you can just run after it. The crossfire. We have enough health to tank any crossfire. What about fire, fire? Um, good question. Fire I'll, I'll go green. Uh, okay. just, just to put a little pressure on the teller. Smidgen of pressure. Just Wait a second, couldn't we go like... Us Wait, could, couldn't we go vents into loans and wall charge the other way? Oh shit, you have the torch. No one expects the vents. Because they're bad. Yes, they are. But that means they work for surprise attacks. <laughs> oh god, I fucking potatoed. What do you mean? Oh, I'm sorry. I was doing absolutely I'm nothing involved. toxic. No, that was I went right. I got a flash. Yeah. Okay. Got two flashes. Okay. Oh, he ran out. Okay. Woo! Just defuse it. <laughs> Gosh. We flashed Santa. Again, this video was not sponsored. The way I see it, with a cost of fifteen dollars, if you can get thirty hours out of this game, you pay fifty cents per hour played. If the population bounces back, then you can certainly get more than 30 hours. It's really easy to make videos about popular games, but I wanted to shed light on something that is unique 
and to shed light on something that deserves to be in the limelight, to me it seems like the indie game developers are the only ones making things interesting these days, so let's support them. I hope to catch you on due process. I will be on our Discord playing, so feel free to hit me up. If you found this video interesting, please consider subscribing. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.